Hello drummers, Rob Lifton here from drumstheword.com. Welcome to this free mini song lesson where today I'm going to show you how to play the song House of the Rising Sun by The Animals, drummed by John Steele. I've got the free PDF that comes with this lesson. You can download from my website for free. The link is beneath this video. I can show you where I've got all three of the main drum beats that John plays throughout the song. So I have this printed out in front of you as we go through this together. It's going to make things a lot easier for you to understand. If you want to make your own song suggestions, then please go over to my Facebook page. You'll find the link beneath this video for that as well. So what we got here is a, a lovely song in 3-4. I've decided to notate it as 3-4. Could have been 6-8, could have been in triplets. I've decided to write it as 3-4. That's the melody that I'm hearing going by. 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3. And what John does is he sort of builds up the complexity of the drum beat as the song goes through. Mainly the bass drum is what improvises, but we'll talk about some other improvisational bits later in the lesson. So the main thing to take away with, um, starting with our first drum beat at 0-10, is we've got two bars of three, four, and it's the ride cymbal and really the hi-hat that's, that's the most prominent part in the song. So we've got this, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three. And that's pretty much unaltered throughout the entire song. On top of that, John is playing the back beat the snare drum and the hi-hat foot um, on beat one of the second bar. One, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, three. And that creates the pulse for the song. Those two aspects, the hi-hat and the ride cymbal, sort of a very jazz-orientated idea, are really the pulse. And the bass drum and snare drum improvise a little bit throughout the song. So the, for our first example, you can hear the snare drum falling down with the back beat and the hi-hat foots on beat one of the second bar. One, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one. Now John plays it very quiet. So it's really the ride cymbal that, that, that's dominant. On top of that, we get the bass drum part. And to start off with, it's relatively simple. We're coming on beat one, one, two, and three, one. And then we get two, three, one. So it loops over from the second bar to the first bar. One, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three. That's definitely the simplest drum beat in the song. Um, so let me just play that for you now, just uh, so you can hear it without the microphone on uh, a few times round. Here we go. Then at 36 seconds, we get the next incarnation of the drum beat where John just adds in an extra bass drum note on the beat three. So we get one, two, and three, one, two, three. It's exactly the same as the previous, but we get that extra bass drum note falling on beat three in bar one. One, two, and three. And let's hear that played up to speed a few times. And then at 42 seconds, we get the final incarnation of the drum beat that John plays pretty much to the end of the song, where he's playing the bass drum on three, one, two, three. He's playing one, two, three, four, five bass drum notes in a row. One, two, and three. One, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three. This sort of stop starts to come in with the first um, keyboard solo. If you're playing this with your band, that, set, that last this example here might sound a little bit too much, the bass room's a little bit too busy. So I'd probably go for the, the second version at 36 seconds. That's the one that I'd probably play the majority of the song with. But because um, the bass drum is, uh, and the snare drum are so low in the mix on the original recording, those bass drums don't become intrusive. So you really want to play this lightly or as light, light as you can. I'm sort of playing a little bit heavy hitting here, using my full leg for the bass drum, but really you just want to be able to tap the bass drum. See if we can have a go at that for you. 
that's on the tempo um, volume you want to go for. Light on the snare drum, so you can hear that hi hat coming through, and it's really the ride cymbal that's the most uh, or the the most prominent part of the uh, the piece. So let's hear that last example played up to speed a few times. Then the final thing I want to say about this song is uh, a little bit of improvisation with the snare drum. You don't hear it on the recording, as I say, it's so low in the mix, but on, on the uh, music video, you do see John improvise with the snare drum a little bit. So don't be afraid to throw in some ghost notes with the left hand. I usually play them in between what the right cymbal's doing. So uh, let me just show you a few examples of that. And also you can play around with the hi-hat foot as well. John doesn't, he keeps maintains that, that bat beat, bat beat effect on beat one of the second bar creating a, a very solid backbeat throughout the song. But if I was playing around with it, I've, I've had a little bit of fun with it. So, um... That was way too busy. But what I was trying to focus on in my head uh, uh, is, is that pulse of three going by every time. Don't lose that pulse of three and start going into four, for example, and, and come back to the original drum beat as often as you can, uh, and perhaps not go as crazy with the hi-hat foot as that, but it shows how you can have fun within this um, three, four kind of feel and create some very cool sounding drum beats. <laughs> stuff like that, have fun with it. So before we finish, let me just play you around a few bars of improvised so you can hear just the drums on that as well. So if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. Don't forget to download the free PDF that came with this lesson. You'll find a link beneath this video. And then while you're over at my website, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member. And what I currently offer for £97 is a full year's online access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. That's over 600 famous and popular songs from all eras. I think I've got at least one other animal song up on the website already. So if you're a John Steele fan, you've got something to get your teeth stuck into already. As a thank you for signing up and give you access to hundreds more little videos teaching you many, many famous drum beats, fills, and even drum solos. I give you three ebooks I've written over the years containing hundreds more famous drum beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record new lessons every week unless I'm ill or on holiday. So you've got lots of cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. But if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, Total pip and happy drumming to you.